Shalom. So I want to show you with you guys my harp. It's a ten-string harp. In Hebrew, Neville, or Kino, Neville of Sore, like in the Psalms of King David. It says on a ten-string harp, I would praise you. It's other places talks about it. This is like that. I learned in the Kabbalah that the word for harp, Pinor, and you can switch around the letters and you get Kaf Vav and Nun Resh. It's the letters that make it up. So Kaf Vav adds up to 26. The Hebrew letters have number values. And adds up to 26. 26 is also the number value for the name of God, Yud and He and Vav and He. And then Nun Resh is the word Ner, it means candle. It's like the candle of God. And it's much deeper than that. And the secrets in the Zohar about the harp and King David playing it sweeten all the judgments in the world with it. And we learn about uh, King David in the Talmud that in the Kabbalah and the Zohar, he would take his harp like this after midnight. He would actually be asleep and then uh, it would wake him up. He actually didn't sleep much either. Or in the Gemara, in Baruchas, that he would take naps, it says like a horse, and that he wouldn't sleep more than like 29 minutes or so. Usually not more than that. He never had a set time of sleep. He would be learning Torah at night, and just fall asleep a little bit and wake up. And fall asleep a little bit and wake up. And at midnight, if he was asleep, uh, a northerly wind would come and blow on his harp, and it would wake him up, and he would take it, and he would play and sing his psalms to God all night until sunrise, and then he would work hard all day, like this every day. So in his merit, I'll play now, it's after midnight here now. He's going to play, so I want to share with you guys. Sam Kito Kile Olam Hasto Out on the Sam Bahino Benevolent Song Zamrolo David Melech Yisrael David Melech Yisrael Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 